guys, Carlos Kidman here. Uh, today on QA on Point Deep Dive, we're going to be um, answering one of the questions that I got from the QA community. Uh, from the last video, I got a lot of feedback about things like my page object model I was using, uh, my driver class, my weight class, a lot of stuff like that. So I'll be answering those later on. Today, I wanted to focus on um, opening a browser in like maximized mode, right? Maximize window. And then also how to open new tabs and switch your driver to those new tabs so you can manipulate multiple tabs in the same driver session. So without any further ado, let's dive right into it. Um, we have 10 steps that we're gonna be looking to achieve or looking to automate using Selenium. Uh, so here I'll show you real quick. It'll be pretty darn simple, I kid you not. So going into it, the first thing we're gonna wanna do is go to Stats Royale. Once we get to Stats Royale, we're gonna open a new tab and we're just gonna hit google.com. Once we get to Google, we're gonna close this tab, switch back control to this tab, and then just close the whole thing all together. So I kid you not, it's that easy. I'll switch over to um, Visual Studio and you'll see right here, step one all the way through 10, and 10 being the most important because we gotta make that cash flow. So, Let's get right into it. I'm just gonna do it right with Selenium out of the box. So that way everybody at home can see what it would look like if you didn't abstract anything away. If it was all done purely via Selenium, this is what it would look like. So let's start down here. So initialize driver uh, and maximize window. We're going to cover this real quick right now uh, on the Windows side. So you'll see here I have full screen on non-Windows machine. I'll uncomment that and reveal that once we get to that point. First off, let's do this. If it were on a Windows machine, we could actually have some pretty nice stuff. We can leverage just the Chrome driver, right? Or Chrome options. First off, hey, yo, let's go. So Chrome options, right? We're gonna say options dot add argument. And it's freaking out because I didn't give it the new keyword. All right, so right here, we're gonna say start maximized and now it's going to say all right when i open up my driver i want to use these arguments during that run during the um the load of it right so here we're going to say if our driver equals a new chrome driver and inside of here we're going to pass in those options that we actually created right above and there you go i mean it's that simple to get the driver initialized with a, the maximized window option so that's that. So step one and two are now done. Step three, go to Stats Royale. We're gonna say driver.navigate, go to URL, and then here we're just gonna say HTTPS and statsroyale.com. Gotta spell things right. You don't wanna not. So this next piece, this is the part. Step four, opening a new tab. Now, Selenium's library, they don't have an API that you actually say like open new tab, like driver.newtab, they don't have anything like that. So you actually have to do it yourself. Now you'll see online there's a bunch of different ways of like using keys and whatnot. Um, this is where knowing JavaScript really helps a lot because this command I'm about to show you works for all the browsers. So right here, execute script and we're just gonna execute some JavaScript, right? Real simple JavaScript, just window.open. This right here, this execute script, this string is going to be turned into JavaScript when it's sent, you know, via the JSON protocol, sent to the browser, and then this JavaScript will be run in the browser. And window.open, if you try it in like the debug console of Chrome, uh, you'll actually see it open a new tab. So there you go, right? Opening a new tab. Now, the next thing is in Selenium, when you have multiple tabs or multiple uh, windows, it gets turned into something called a window handle. And a window handle, uh, it has a unique ID to it saying this window, when it gets generated, will have a special ID that's generated at, you know, at the time the, the window is opened. Um, and so what we want to do is we want to get a collection of all of these windows that we're working with in our session. And then we can easily index into them to find which one we want to switch to, right? So here we'll say driver switch to, convenient they have that in there. Switch to dot, and you have a few things you can switch to. In this case, we care about window. And now here it's gonna ask for a string window name. So I'm gonna put a quick semicolon right here so we can see this piece. If I were to say windows and then driver dot window handles, you'll see that we have the current window handle, AKA the one that's active. 
and then a collection of window handles. And as you can see here, it's a read-only collection of strings. The window handles are strings, right? So if I were to say this, now my Windows is holding the collection of window handles. So let's get rid of this now that we see that. We're going to use it. So we're going to say driver, oh, not Siri, go away, Siri, nobody wants you. Driver.windowhandles, right? And then here we can just index right into it because it's a collection. And so remember, zero would be the first one, which would be Stats Royale. We open a, a new tab. Now that is number two, right? And when you're doing an index, uh, an array index, zero is one, one is two, right? So now we have Stats Royale, we have Google, and so we want to get Google. So we're going to say driver.windowhandles, give me the second one, and switch to that. And there you go. We have now opened a new tab, and we switched to it using just Selenium out of the box, right? So now that we're inside the new tab, because remember, it's just going to be an empty tab, we want to use that tab and actually go just to google.com real quick just so we can see it. So now we're going to say navigate here, go to URL, and here we'll say Google and Google Boom. We're going to Google in the new tab. Next thing is we're going to close this tab. So driver.close. Close will only close the tab. If there's only one tab, it'll act as a quit, not all the way, but close will actually close tabs. Quit will close the entire session. More on that a little bit later, but driver.close is now step seven. We've achieved that. Once we close it, that doesn't mean that Selenium is going to automatically revert back to the Stats Royale tab. It's still going to be looking for almost, if you think about it this way, listening to port two, right? The, the window handle that we just closed. So what we need to do is, now that we've closed this tab, switch back to the parent tab or the first tab, right? So now that we've closed it, let's switch right back. And yes, we will use essentially the exact same thing. We're going to switch to the window, driver.windowhandles. And in here, you guessed it, we're switching back to the first one, and zero is one. We switch back to that, and now we're going to say, just for demo purposes, we're going to wait three seconds real quick before we actually driver.quit. And there you go. So let's build this, and let's see what happens. Let's build. Cool. Let's go over here to my tests. Let's grab this and run it. And now let's see what happens over here. Looks like it's opening Stats Royale, opens the tab, closes it around, it got to Google, switches back to Stats, and then closes it up for us. And there you go, guys. Again, super simple stuff as well. Um, looking at all of these, we skipped number 10. Let me just complete number 10 right now, hold on. All right, I just made that money. So. That right there, initializing the driver all the way to opening a new tab, navigating, controlling the second tab, closing the tab, going back and reverting control back to the first tab, and now I have control of the first tab again. All of that is done right here in the code that we just barely did. It took us all of a few minutes, right? So that's that. The next thing I want to touch on is um, what does maximizing the window look like on a non-Windows machine? Because it is a lot uglier. So. Let's check this out. I didn't want to type it all out like I did with this because it's a lot. And let me tell you, having to write JavaScript in a string is not the funnest. But anyway, so let me uncomment this line or these lines here. Uncomment. Let me get rid of these. Or actually, I'll just comment these out so we can see them for reference. And now look at this. <laughs> so starting on line 21 here. We're now initializing the driver. Notice how the options are not even there. Why? Because doing the new Chrome options and then adding arguments that are maximized does not work on Mac and does not work on Linux. So that doesn't work. And since I'm doing everything here that you're seeing on my screen is all .NET Core on a Mac, native Mac. This is Visual Studio for Mac, the IDE I'm using. Um, start maximize doesn't work. So. If we see this here, we'll see that var driver equals new Chrome driver, initializing it. Driver.manage.window position, I'm saying I want the window to go all the way to the top left corner, zero, zero, top left corner of the screen. Here, then I have a JavaScript where I say, give, I'm going to get some dimensions in an array, right? You'll see here I'm saying get the screen available width, the available height, 
and then put that into that array. So now I have width, comma, height inside an array, and then I return that array back. And then I execute that JavaScript and I hold it in an object. I, that stuff I won't dive too much into, but essentially this is what you'll be using. So let me get rid of this here so you can see it. Line 27 is what's executing this JavaScript right here. So here's the JavaScript. This second piece, if I hover over this, is saying it's looking for a string for JavaScript and then a number of object arguments, just a number of arguments, however many. In this case, I'm saying null. I have no other arguments. I'm just going to throw in JavaScript and return something back. Right. So here's my JavaScript object. I'm getting the first one in the array, which is just a number, and converting that to an integer. And now that's my x coordinate. It's the same thing with my y coordinate. And then I'm going to say driver.manage window.size equals a new size with those dimensions that I got off my JavaScript. Right. So holy cow, that is a long-winded way to do it. Uh, it works really well though. And so if you're running into the situation where the Chrome options is not working for you, this right here will work beautifully. So it's a little verbose, but alas, you do what you gotta do, right? So this would be the, very much the JavaScript way to do it, but there you go. So I'll leave that there for now. We'll run it again, just to make sure that Carl, are you lying or not? I am not. Let's run it real quick and let's see the proof. Right next to my garage band, let's go. It's maximized again, it's going, it's going, three seconds and gone. Switching back over to the IDE. Cool stuff. So the last thing I wanna to touch on, now that we know how to maximize the window using Chrome options, we know how to maximize the window using JavaScript, and now we know how to use multiple tabs and use window handles in Selenium to switch control of the driver from tab to tab, all you got to do is manage your window handles. So last thing, because holy goodness, this is a lot, a lot of text going on, right? Uh, just to do those few steps. Now, a lot of the questions I got in the last video was around the page object model and everything that I was using and all the abstractions I was doing. This right here, this open new tab and switch to it abstracted is the equivalent of all of this up here. So all of that, is the same as that, right? So if we go through those steps, I'll leave the steps right here. Step one, initialize driver. Well, there you go. I'm initializing with the local driver, just my local machine. And I want the Chrome driver. I'm gonna go to statsroyal.com. I'm gonna open a tab. And on that tab, I'm going to go to google.com. I'm going to close that tab. Then wait three seconds and quit. And that right there, super readable, way more readable than this garbage up here. But all of this in this test here is all hard coded into the test, right? Where here I've abstracted a lot of that functionality out of there. So if we switch over to the driver class, because one thing is like this open tab, what in the name, what's this doing? Right here it's saying execute JavaScript, which you should be familiar with, driver.execute JavaScript, right? Here's the JavaScript we saw before, window.open, opens a new tab. And then inside this control, I'm actually just switching to that control, making the new tab active automatically, right? And right here, I'm doing a little bit of logic that's nice and fancy, not too much to be honest, but window.currentwindows.count, so I'm getting all the number, like the length of the window handles and just saying minus one, that should be the index of the latest tab I just opened and switch to that, right? And that's all window, uh, that's all open tab does is it executes that JavaScript and then automatically switches to that tab to make that the active tab, right? So going back to the test, instead of you, instead of you seeing like a driver.window open, driver.switch to, and then driver.go to, all you see is open the new tab and then on that new tab, go to, right? Uh, all of this stuff right here that you see is all abstracted away again in this driver.init. So let's check out that definition. Here's my window.maximize. Right? When I init a new driver, I do all this stuff, you know, driver factory and set up my new weight and my new window manager and then maximize. But if I go here, you'll see, well, there's that code again, right? Where I get the screen size and everything. And then I actually change the size of the screen to whatever the screen size is of the machine I'm working on. So whether it's a Docker container, whether it's Windows Server 2016 or whatever, I'll get the size of the screen we're working with, even if it's headless and maximize the window anyway. So super, super cool stuff. Um, and with that, you guys, 
that's it. I mean, I, we covered everything pretty quickly. Uh, again, just running through it, we wanted to maximize a window on Windows. We wanted to maximize the window on Mac and Linux. Uh, and then we also wanted to see how we open new tabs and switch between the tabs so we can control those. Uh, it's all through window handles and the switch to method on Selenium's driver. Anyway, guys, any questions, hit me up uh, either on Twitter, hit me up on LinkedIn or on the YouTube channel. I would love to keep diving more into it. And all your questions are just helping me. I'm, I'm getting all these questions and everything. And, and I'll just keep pumping out content for you guys and answer as many as I can. So, so please, please, any feedback. Maybe there's another way you guys do it. I would love to see and I'd love to collaborate. So uh, thanks again for watching and happy testing. Bye.